Hello, so today I thought I'd grease you all with my awesome Scouse accent. Um, for the people back at home, you're going to have to forgive me because obviously I haven't been to the UK for like five years. So this is going to be a super sketchy accent, it's going to sound well dodgy now. Yeah, so I thought today I'd go over the stuff that I love about the UK because it has been so long and I mean obviously the accent is a big thing but I mean there are other things that I really like too so I thought we'd go over that. Cool. So obviously first of all it's all the people because I mean they make it don't they? Um, I had such a good group of friends back in the UK, my best friend obviously being Erica who probably sounds like this but worse. Um, I'm like I love my friends here in New Zealand but they haven't known me since I was three you know and um, and they, they know all the same chippies and stuff um, and you know that's like a big thing for me and like friends are so important and like especially since they saw me growing up and going through my awkward teenage phase you know um, so that means a lot to me that they know well I suppose it's a bit scary actually because they know like how ugly I was like growing up and how unfashionable I was and like the first day I wore mascara and I was like ooh Emily's wearing mascara number two is all the chocolate that I miss like I'm sorry New Zealand but your chocolate just isn't as good like dairy milk and all that amazing in the UK and now that I finally have money I can't even afford the good chocolate I mean Whitaker's is alright and Galaxy oh my gosh like I swear all my English friends here will agree Galaxy is the best like yeah, so I missed that. And to top it off, Mackie's McFlurries, man. They're so expensive here. Like, oh my gosh. Not made of money. Number three is I really miss all the accents. So Liverpool's got this accent, which obviously is is awesome. Um and then you go to like five minutes down the road and you've got a completely different accent. And admittedly the Manx one is a bit gross to be honest. Like um, but you can go anywhere and it's, it's so different and like Geordie accent oh I love that if I could have that accent I would and like even though I haven't held on to this accent properly um, I still love it you know it's still a part of me but you know like I spoke like this once upon a time I am a Liverpool girl I spent most of my life there a lot of me friends are from Liverpool and um, yeah like the accents in, the, in England are so cool and so different like it's just amazing. Number four is obviously all the fashion that I absolutely adore. Like, oh my gosh, seeing a boy in trackies, like, no joke, that stuff is hot, especially when they pair it with like trainers or whatever, and it has to be Lacoste. Oh, and to top it off, that Burberry cap just, oh, I don't even understand it why, like, chavs get put down so much because their fashion sense, it's like undeniable. It's gorgeous. New Zealand boys, they're just messing out man, like they think they look good in like a shirt and like their hair all done up and like cardigans or whatever. Ew. No, trackies all the way, like that is definitely the way to go. Even better if you've got one of those Asbo anklet things, like they are hot. And number five is obviously my Aunt Lizzie, like she runs the country all by herself. And that's amazing, you know, like considering she's so old and all that. Yeah, so I think that's a good place to finish because she is like the epitome of Britain, you know. Because she's like, her face is all over the money and stuff. So thanks for watching. I, my accent isn't too stupid. Bye. I really shouldn't be this offensive. <laughs>